Hi guys, in this video I will explain how this patch works and I also going to perform a demonstration of it. You can download this patch by clicking the link below in the description. So uh, this patch is slicing a still image and is making the slices to move according to the amplitude of a sound file or a live input. So, to make the point more clear, I will show you the original image, which is right here. So, this is the image that is being cut, and the pieces, different parts, are moved by the average amplitude of the sound file. So, how does it work? This patch has two main sections. The first section at left is performing a sound analysis, analysis. So I'm getting the average amplitude of a sound file, file or a live input. You can also uh, inject as live sound input in the average object and it will work. So detecting the average amplitude in a period of time just let's see what happens here in this in this display for example okay this here is displaying the average amplitude of the sound right then these values here i am mapping them and I am sending them to this uh, JavaScript code here, which is actually in charge of making the divisions in the image. So what I am telling to the, the JavaScript code to do is the loudest the sound is, the faster you're going to, to make changes in this split uh, in splitting the sound is so it's easier to understand if you if you watch it so let's for example make the demonstration with a different sound file for example this one here See, it sounds, it moves. It's quiet, it moves slowly. Okay, another file. You can tell that it is moving according to the music. But you can tell exactly why, what is going on, right? So I am not using peaks. I could have used like PCAM, for example, uh, but I, uh, with this, just using the average amplitude, I can create smoother changes and I like it more. So uh, what else? So, uh, well, concerning the, the use of the patch, when, when you just download the patch, you need to tell Max where your folder is. So you go to Options, File Preferences, and if you are using a Windows computer, you need to go to to your pre oh, sorry yeah your Preferences, and you search for this tab, File Preferences, and then you will choose the location of the folder. If you don't specify this location, you're you're not gonna be able to load the JavaScript file into the GS object, and of course it's not going to work. And also uh, the same for the images that you are using of the movies. You need to to put those images and those movies in the same folder that your JavaScript code. And if you have it. If you have them in another file, just you need to specify here the location. 
my advice just put everything in the same folder and you won't uh, mistake later so when you open the patch for the first time you need to press this bank button in order to initialize the patch uh, you could probably if you don't want you don't need to do this but you will need them to to initialize the patch manually, which means uh, turning the JIT world on first and later just loading the files and then loading uh, also the sound files, etc. But uh, well, just by pressing that is done and it's okay. So, okay, let's continue uh, talking about what can you vary in this patch? So first, uh, first things. Well, you can vary the the image, of course. You can load whichever image you want uh, and read it with a movie file. So you can just send the message like read, and later the name of the image. For example, let's switch to this. So I recommend that uh, if it has a different uh, size you need or you might want to specify the dimensions of this file so here for example I know that this file is uh, 600 by 480 640 by 400, uh, 480 so by pressing this button message that is connected to the in the JavaScript object so you can change the, the dimensions of the image that you are processing. So if you change to a larger image like mine, my photography, so you will need to, or you will, you might want to change the dimensions if you want to visualize the entire image. Then. Uh, you can send a clear message also, and it's going to start the to draw again, right? You're gonna uh, have a black a black uh, screen, and later it's going to start adding parts. Also, you can you can use a movie a movie file, so. I will open my patch to edit. I will go to the cheat point movie object, go to the left. You see this little yellow arrow to pop up. I will press it like a button. I go to files and I will choose a new file. For example, uh, garbage. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, Th these are the files that are come with Max, like the Dozer movie, etc. And so, yeah, you can make it work with the movie. Uh, so, what about the reactivity? So, th do you have a, a scholar here? Means that I am getting a result from this average object. Here I am reducing the amount of data that I am uh, passing to, to, to the JavaScript object. And then uh, this result I can multiply it by a scalar. And this scalar is going to determine the reactivity, uh, how fast am I going to to move the 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 slices in here for example if i go let's play the music now if i go to a small number like one means that i am i i am not affecting anything i won't see anything happening here because this is very very low so if i go up I can see that things are moving faster because I I am making it more reactive. Then this is uh, concerning to to the sound part. So now what is going on in here? So 
I created this attribute called add part. Let's see what it is. So I will unplug it because I am sending data constantly here. So I will unplug it because I want to change it manually. So I will create uh, an integer. Sorry, this is a float. So by pressing letter I, I create this number box, which is an integer. I will connect it to my speed limb object. And so now look, the smaller this number is, the faster I will cha perform changes in here. So I will write, for example, 20. And look, it's changing really fast. If I'll go up, up, it's going to add the slices slower, right? And so you can start guessing how the system works. So actually the the higher this number is here, in other words, let's play it. Let's play a sound file. So do you see these peaks? So the highest the highest those levels are. This number in here goes down. For example, if I if I have a a high peak in here, I will get in here uh, a small number like for example 20 20 and then it is going to move very fast. But if I have uh, a low number like for example this then here I will get a higher number that I will that I will send to the JavaScript and it is gonna move slower. So you you will understand better when you analyze what is going on here in this box, which is called this uh, soft patcher, which is called mapping and just analyze it and you will understand exactly what is going on. So this is the scale and this is the inverted scale in, in the outlet number one that I am sending here, right? And uh, okay. And so what other, this other attribute speed sound, let's look at it. I will unplug it because it's getting a signal constantly. So I will unplug it and I will create a flonum. It's, uh, it's only going to receive float numbers. I will change it and look what it happens. Right, so this attribute is determining uh, how fast the image is scrolling inside of each slice. Okay, stop, please, yeah, okay. So now uh, let's recap a little. So I have two main parts in this patch. The first one is about sound and I am performing sound analysis here. And the second one is the visual part. So in the first in the first one I am getting the average amplitude of a sound and I am mapping the results of it and I am sending those results to a JavaScript file. So the the loudest the sound is, the faster it's gonna change my slices and the faster it's gonna move them. So this is the working principle of this uh, this uh, visual music idea. Uh, so 
let me know your comments what do you think uh i am always uh searching more ways to to create visual music so this is an idea this is a mapping of uh average amplitude into into movement right so let's explore more ways to create musicality in in visuals let me know your thoughts what do you think uh can you create another interesting ways to to make react visuals according to average amplitude let me know and um try the patch if you want thank you for supporting me uh yeah i'm charging for downloading these patches uh because uh i need to put bread on my table so i thank you very much for your support it's been great so far and thank you uh see you guys later and you know you can write me if you have any comments so i will leave all my links web page etc below in the description and i will say bye bye uh, by leaving you with this uh, struct of with a demonstration actually of what how it looks okay so i will just play my music this is a music that i composed during my art residency in cove park uh thanks to cryptic producers in glasgow uh okay i will demonstrate now how it looks like 